Representatives of the Nigerian Police Force, Civil Defense, INEC, NGOs, CSOs, NOAs, persons living with disabilities, including journalists, participated during a one-day town hall meeting on electoral reforms in Yenogoa. Organized by the Peering Advocacy and Advancement Center in Africa, the program is aimed at enhancing public understanding and fostering inclusive dialogue among citizens on the electoral reforms and constitutional amendments. We discovered that a lot of stakeholders have no inkling of what is contained in the law that guides our leadership recruitment process. And so, and what is even more worrying is that uh, these are the most enlightened segments of society. Stakeholders representing various sectors said recommendations made during the program, if implemented, would help strengthen the voting process in Nigeria. We are starting a process that will help citizen-driven uh, electoral voting. I believe so, because I support uh, digital voting. You know, I'm a foundation member of uh, electronic winning in INC. We should input NIM numbers, registration, and face out the new, uh, the old registration. Our situation where the electoral acts will make the, those representing us to have quarterly meetings where they give account of stewardship. So, while we talk about implementation, it is up to us. Register was displayed for at least 10 days. There was no hype, let me use that language, there was no hype about how important this process is. And this is where people got claims and objection. The police is deeply involved, and prior to elections, they engage in meetings like this, and also from time to time, carry on with what we call show of force to let members of the public know that they are ready. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.